Welcome to this video. Today, I'll guide you through setting up a traffic system in the simulation model. Imagine a busy warehouse with material handling equipment moving items from one location to another location. In a warehouse environment, if traffic control system is not implemented, it can lead to congestion, causing deadlocks, bottlenecks, gridlocks, and inefficiencies in the workflow. In this video, I'll provide you with a step-by-step -step guide to effectively use the traffic controller and ensure smooth, efficient operations in your simulation model. Let's get started. First, drag and drop the traffic controller object from the library into your model. Traffic controller can be connected to network nodes. Click the chain link icon at the top. Select a connection mode. Click on the traffic controller to initiate the connection. Drag the connection to a network node and click to establish the link. Repeat this process for all the nodes you want to connect, especially in areas where collisions are likely to occur. Verify the connections after connecting. Check the visible lines between the traffic controller and the network nodes to ensure proper linkage. Click on the traffic controller to open its settings. In the mode drop-down menu, you'll see two options. Mutual exclusion is used to only allow a given number of travelers into the traffic controls area, regardless of which paths they are taking. Untimed traffic modes is used, if you want to control traffic based on each individual path in the traffic control area. For this model, we'll select mutual exclusion to ensure collision-free movement. In max travelers, enter the maximum number of travelers allowed in this area at the same time. Below that, you'll see a table that shows the content and speed multiplier. If this option is checked, then the table will be used to adjust speeds of travelers. When you run the model, you will see that task executors wait and move in areas where they meet, waiting for another task executor to pass by before continuing. This helps to simulate the controlled flow of resources, ensuring tasks are completed safely. Thank you for watching.